I'm beyond excited to be holding right here the Mavic Pro 2. Not even released to the public yet. I got my hands on this last week, and as you can tell, it's a little bit larger than the previous Mavic Pro. This is actually the very first drone I built back in 2013 when DJI had just come out with the Phantom and there were a couple other people manufacturing drones. Um, I decided to make one for myself and this is what I came up with. It is a hexacopter, so it has six motors and it can carry anything I put on it pretty much. So I actually built this thing to carry a DSLR and it does that with no problem. This thing is an absolute beast. The battery on it weighs almost as much as my Mavic does. I used this for a little while and I decided that it was absolutely way too big and not very practical to take around. So I bought the Mavic um, a couple years ago and I've absolutely loved it. The current Mavic Pro is incredible because it is so small, but it is an incredibly capable drone with a pretty good camera on it. It's so easy to carry with you. You can put it in pretty much any photography bag. I threw it in my suitcase and took it to Kenya a couple of months ago and got some really cool shots. I love this thing. The only thing I don't love about the current Mavic is its image sensor. But lucky for us, the rumored specs on the Mavic Pro 2 are going to solve that problem. So apparently there's two different versions of the Mavic Pro 2. There's going to be one that allows you to zoom in and out. Optical zoom is different than digital zoom. With digital zoom, you're just basically enlarging or cropping or magnifying a picture that's already there. But with optical zoom, the lens actually moves to decrease your field of view and actually zoom in on what you're taking pictures of. So that's pretty awesome because I've been in several situations doing real estate and commercial stuff with my drone where a house or building is surrounded by trees and I'm way up here and I'm trying to shoot what's way down there and I can't get really close through the trees without crashing my drone. So it would be really awesome to be able to zoom in and see that. Um, but what I am most excited about is the second version of the Mavic Pro 2, which is a one inch sensor. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering why it matters how big the image sensor is, and I've done several videos covering image sensor size and why that's important, but I'm going to give you a quick review of why image sensor size matters. So every image sensor has pixels, and I'm going to oversimplify this, but I'm gonna try and make it easier for you to understand. So think about a pixel as a cup. So if you were to set these cups out in the rain, what one would collect more water? The bigger one would collect more water. So if you have pixels on an image sensor and both image sensors have the same number of pixels, the larger image sensor will have larger pixels so it can collect more light. If you've ever noticed when shooting with your cell phone when it's really dark, your pictures are really dark and really grainy when you're in low light. A cell phone image sensor is tiny. It cannot collect a lot of light. And it's gotten better over the years, but it's still super small. And that's why a lot of professional photographers use what's called a full frame camera, which is talking about the image sensor size, because a bigger image sensor typically does better in lower light. So this is a pixel and this is a pixel. Another awesome thing about a big sensor is called dynamic range. So dynamic range is describing the difference in the smallest amount of light and the most amount of light a pixel can capture. So this over here, the variance in levels is a lot more than this. So this one, you can fill it up to here, but you pour a little bit more in and it's gonna overflow. Where this can handle a lot more, it has a lot more range. So in photography, what that means is that when you're shooting pictures of the mountains, you can see the shadows in the mountains, but also the highlights in the sky. So if you've ever been taking a picture of a friend and a sunset, it's either the sky looks good or their face looks good with a smaller sensor because your, your sensor can't handle a little bit of light on their face and a lot of light in the sky. Where an image sensor with bigger pixels, it can handle a little bit of light on someone's face or on the trees or whatever, and then it can handle a whole bunch of light that's in the sky or you know a lamp or something like that. 
So dynamic range is the ability to capture a little bit of light and a lot of light all in one photo. So of course you can darken your photo or brighten your photo um, with your shutter speed or your aperture or your ISO, but dynamic range allows you to capture a range of light all in one image. The current Mavic Pro has a half inch sensor and the rumored Mavic Pro 2 is said to have a one inch sensor. So obviously you are doubling your sensor size. And if you have the same number of megapixels on both, you're doubling your pixel size, which should make your dynamic range a lot better. I'm not quite sure if they are keeping the same amount of megapixels, because if you up the megapixels, then you have to shrink the size of the pixels to fit them on there. My hope is that they keep the same number of pixels and just double them in size so I can capture more dynamic range with my images. There are a few downsides to a bigger image sensor. And what that is, is if you have a bigger image sensor, you need a bigger lens to project an image onto that sensor. So a bigger lens obviously means a heavier lens, which means the drone will have to carry more weight. So a bigger image sensor and a bigger lens also causes a shallower depth of field, which means that the focal plane or the things that are in focus are shallower and shallower the bigger your image sensor and lens get. So what that means is that when you're flying right now with the current Mavic Pro, pretty much everything is in focus. Um, the trees are in focus, the mountains, the sky, it's pretty much all in focus. Like with your cell phone, when you take a picture with your cell phone, pretty much everything is in focus all the time. As you get a bigger image sensor and a bigger lens, less and less things will become in focus. That's why autofocus is so important with the full frame camera. So what that means is with a one inch sensor, less of the image will be in focus. So you're either gonna have this tree in focus or the ground behind it, or something in front of it. You can't have it all in focus at once, which is a big appeal to people who shoot portraits. If you've ever seen a portrait of a person in the background is all blurry and you can't really see what's going on, that's because it was shot with a bigger image sensor, which means less things are in focus. And that doesn't mean that things can't be in focus. It just means that only a certain distance is in focus at a time. So your camera will have to focus from here to here, back and forth to get what you want in focus. So now you don't really have to pay attention to focus as much with the current Mavic, but if you have a one inch sensor, you're going to have to start paying more attention to your focus or else things will start to be out of focus. So for the zoom lens that's rumored for the Mavic Pro 2, that's also pretty cool, but I'm pretty sure the image sensor size isn't changing for the zoom lens. And the reason for that is in order to make a zoom lens, it requires more glass, more moving parts, which is going to make everything heavier. So if you were to put a bigger, heavier zoom lens on a bigger sensor, it would really add a lot of weight to the Mavic. And I know that the flight time is rumored to increase, which is pretty exciting. And the top speed is rumored to increase. So a lot of awesome changes are going to happen with the Mavic Pro 2. But the one I'm most excited about is the increased image sensor, which means more dynamic range and better shooting in low light. So be sure and subscribe to my channel. I'm posting free photography resources all the time. I'm posting things about my drone. I'm showing you behind the scenes of what I'm shooting. Go find me on Instagram, see what we're up to. And if you have any questions, always feel free to ask and I'll probably make a video about it. See ya.